the following contest has no holds barred, no countouts, no disqualifications, anything goes. Your referee, Nick Chin. All right, here we go, Ryan. It is main event time here. This week on NWL TV, no disqualification. As we heard at the top of this broadcast, the new wow. face of mayhem, Leo Howard he is. and Jimmy Jacobs one-on-one -on -one right here, right now. Taking a snapshot with my eyes right now, Ben, because this is the before picture of Leo Howard before he gets put on the map after he meets Jimmy Jacobs. Marco Howard. From Los Angeles, California, with 250 pounds, he is the new official man, Leo Howard. Look at him. He's out here. He knows he's primed for a big moment. It's going to be tonight, man. You know it. The war of words that have been exchanged between the zombie princess, the unprofessional Jimmy Jacobs, and Leo Howard is well documented. This verbal war has become personal, and now they settled, they, they settled their score this week on NWL. And man, Leo Howard has got his work cut out for him. He's not going to lose so anyone named the Zombie Princess. I've told you that before. This is going to be a huge night for Leo Howard. Look, here he comes. Here he is. What's on his head? That's a tiara or a crown of some sort. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, weighing 169 pounds, a legendary competitor who held championships throughout the world, a unprofessional professional, the zombie princess, Jimmy Jacobs. Jimmy Jacobs taking a look over his shoulder and making sure that Leo Howard is staying put because believe me, once that bell rings, all hell is about to break loose here in Overland Park, Kansas. I thought he was looking over his shoulder because he was looking at it. It was like three paragraphs of what Midnight Guthrie is spitting out. It's ready for the match to start. Getting old here. Midnight Guthrie, never a man short on words here. But no. That's why we all love Midnight Guthrie here in the NWL. Man, I am waiting. I can't wait for this. The unprofessional professional getting fired from the WWE and now taking on Lionel Hell in the NWL. It's not very easy. It's not very hard to get fired from the WWE from what I hear. Oh, look at that. It's not. Just got spat in the face. No one's ever done that to Leo Howlett before. And look at Leo Howlett. This is already, I have a feeling it's going to break down here pretty soon. Oh, look at that, Jimmy Jacobs. Look at that. Tope Suicida just took out Marco Howlett. He took out the, it looked like he took out the guardrail, took out Marco Howlett. Look at this, Leo on the attack now. It just shows you what Jimmy Jacobs will do, what he will sacrifice his own body to take out his competition. And I think Marco Howard's leaving. Look at that chair. We're already getting started across the back of Marco Howard. Jimmy Jacobs may be rattled a little bit from his spill to the outside. That goodness gracious. Jimmy Jacobs flew out of that ring, hit that guardrail. I think he might have hit himself in the ground as well. He went out like a bullet out of that ring, but look, he's still on the offensive here. He's trying to take out Marco Howell. Look at, here come some members of the NWL staff. I mean, this is no disqualification, but they, they're trying to get him off Marco Howell. Maybe turn his attention to his actual opponent, Leo, but he knows that if Marco's out there, Marco uh, makes a clear and present threat to yeah. Jimmy Jacobs. Sure, I, get, I, I don't understand how this is fair. They're getting rid of Marco Howard in no DQ match, but apparently that's what the staff is dispersed to do. Are you sure Major Basin's not back there? Oh, dropping. Ooh, did you hear that? Dropping an elbow right across the head. Now he's giving some fans, some great fans here in the NWL, a much needed up close and personal time as he chokes away on Leo Howell. Come on, Jimmy! Look at this, like you knew this was going to be a brawl, a battle. Jimmy Jacobs was known as a battler brawler in the past. Oh. <laughs> and Leo Howell ducks out of the way, and Jimmy Jacobs goes crashing into that security railing. Now some overhand lights. And Leo Howell, look at him just battering down. 
I've seen Jimmy Jacobs engage in some of the most brutal and violent wars that I have ever seen in the history of this great sport. And now we may see a replay of some of those brutal and violent wars with him going against Leo Holly. And now he's telling the crowd to get out of the way. Wow. The action is bound to spill into the audience here. Already acting like he's gonna go try to go on the outside. What is this, Lionel? Oh, look at this. Oh, Jimmy oh. Jacobs reverses and throws Leo Howlett. Leo Howlett takes a Come nasty on. spill to the outside. Going into the crowd to battle. Look at Jimmy Jacobs standing on a chair getting that aerial tactic on top of Lionel's head. I mean, it is, it, it is jam-packed standing room only here at the Abdallah Shrine. And our great camera crew and our spotlight guy having a hard time keeping up with the action as you see them battling through this capacity crowd. Come on, get him back in the ring, Staffers. Trying to get a clear shot, man. This is tough. There are so many people here at Overland Park. Going to the concession stand? Look at that, Jimmy Jacobs with that, just raking the eyes of Leo Howlett. No, 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 no. Oh, slamming his head right in front of our regatta. Did the running start? What's he doing? Someone please save the regatta. What is Jimmy Jacobs doing? Look at him. He has a trash can. And he just rode that trash can like a battery ram into the chest of Leo House. Maybe it shouldn't be no disqualification at this point. I would have landed on the beat him in a wrestling match. And that Guthrie over the announcing system, trying to tell wrestling fans to be careful. Don't spill any beer. Send his head off that bar top. Come on, Lionel. We knew this would be out of control, but we never expected it. Something like this, and now Leo Howland ramming that trash can into the midsection of Jimmy James. That was, that was trying to dump him in there. Throw him in there, he is garbage. Stop it. This is what I expected. Leo Hellett should be on top of this kind of brawl. And Jimmy Jacobs with a side headlock. And I'm starting to clear out more fans here. They're brawling from pillar to post, from one side of the building to the other. And Jimmy Jacobs now. There's chairs, there's lighting poles, there's fans everywhere continuing to battle through. Now Jimmy Jacobs, is he going to ride the trash can again? No! Oh, no, looks like he's going to like a battery ram. Look out! Oh! Leo Hallett just put his foot right in the side of Jimmy Jacobs' Good. head. Good. And Jimmy Jacobs was crashing to the floor on the outside here. Went to the well one too many times there, Ben. You can use the battering ram old trash can trick only one time. Remember, wrestling fans, no disqualifications, no countouts here tonight in this main event. Can no. Jimmy Jacobs take that, that new face of mayhem moniker from Leo Howlett? I mean, he's got enough, but you never know. Oh, look at that. Punch right to the midsection. What's this? Jimmy Jacobs positioned himself on the other side of the guardrail. Oh my goodness. And that sickening thud of Leo Howlett's body. He totally missed the pads there on the outside. Just went crashing to that hard floor. Bringing him in the hard way. Now, finally, Jimmy Jacobs gets Leo Howlett back in the ring. The crowd cheering him. But come on, Leo. Get the cobwebs out. Now look at this. What's that, more chairs? Jimmy Jacobs grabbing some chairs here. All the plunder is going to be used in this match. And we knew it was going to get violent, but it's about business is about to pick up. This reminds me of Terry Funk at ECW. He's just throwing chairs from every angle. But you know what, Ben? I, I got to say, Jimmy Jacobs is good at this, but this is also Leo Howlett's forte as well. This kind of brutality with with objects such as chairs, tables, ladders. We've seen that in the NWL already. Absolutely. Leo Howard, no, and his, uh, his cousin Marco, known for their wars of plunder with the royal blood. I mean, no one will ever forget the tables match, the ladder match. Leo Howard is no stranger to sacrificing his body to get what he wants. Look at this. This. First on the Irish, which means Jacobs oh. drop to hold. And Leo Howlett may need some dental work after that.
Jimmy Jacobs shooting the half, going for the pin. Could this be it? It only gets a two count, does Jimmy Jacobs. Right on the face of Leo Hallett, he's hurting. His left arm is in pain. What's this? Man, that reminds me of another classic war I've seen in the past, Raven and Tommy Dreamer. Raven used to love doing that drop toe hold on that chair to Tommy Dreamer. Yeah, look at this. Oh. Oh, you hear those elbows. Look at that single leg drop kick. Kicking him right over in the chair. Here's a cover. One, two, three. Come on, Jimmy Jacobs. Maybe you're getting rattled by those back elbows. Take a seat in that chair and paid for it dearly after that single leg drop kick. You're not dead! Look at that. Leo screaming. Yeah, I, think, I think you've just angered a monster, Leo Hallett. I mean, he just screamed the Hallett's. This is, the, I, I know, he, he's rattled, he's been rattled. Jimmy Jacobs is no one to mess with, I understand. But Leo Hallett, I think he just gets better as this goes along. If he's not going to finish him early, Jimmy Jacobs is in oh. trouble. Dropping that knee right into the chest. Trying to cave in the chest of Jimmy Jacobs here. What does Leo Hallett have? Oh, no. Bridging that chair in between the second and third turnbuckle. He's probably going to try to ram Jimmy Jacobs' head into that chair. If he's successful, this match could be short lived. From the Zombie oh. Princess and spine first into that bridge chair. Here's another cover. It's over. Floats over yeah. into a pin and only gets a two count. And Jimmy, both these men have been through enough already at this point. They battled all through the uh, crowd here in Overland Park. And now, Leo Howlich. Oh, look at that. Raking the yes. forearm right across the bridge of the nose. Trying to make the eyes of Jimmy Jacobs tear up a little bit. Oh, what is he doing here? He's going to use the. There we go. Yes. Choke chairs. him out with it. Break his larynx. Come on. Look at that, he's gonna try to, oh, and just right down across the chest with the edge of that chair. Break the sternum. And now look at him. This is the vicious hell that I know. He must have heard you, he's trying to, he may be trying to collapse the throat of Jimmy Jacobs and another edge of the chair shot right into the chest. Well, he's not gonna be able to continue, Ben, if you break his larynx. And then it's over, it's a, then he'll win. Let's do it. Oh, hard shot right to the back. You heard that the crowd is just in awe of this brutality right here at tonight's main event on NWL TV. Yes, Leo Hallett standing tall over Jimmy Jacobs, just like I knew he would, Ben. Now he just has to get that three count. Leo Hallett in firm control of this matchup and has been for several minutes here. Let's talk about what a huge win this will be for Leo Hallett, man. I mean, this is a guy Acting like it's a foregone conclusion. This is a guy who him and Marco have taken over the tag team division. They haven't won the titles yet, but that's just around the corner. We all know the Hallett's have been named by Proper Peoples the best tag team of the year. So, in singles competition, Leo Hallett, is, this is gonna put him on the map. You, you agree, right? Well, the Hallett's are definitely one of the best tag teams. I haven't seen that list. I don't know what you're talking about. Howlett's are a great tag team. They're not taking anything away from them. But Leo Howlett has definitely been on a singles tear as of late. And, and one has to wonder, is, is singles goal in Leo Howlett's future and tag team goal? And they would have to get by the foundation, which I mean, you might just explain if the Howlett's face. I don't know what I do with that. There are the four people I love tremendously, so I don't know what to say about that. But I'm talking about this match. I mean, this would be such a huge feather in the cap of this singles goal. Hard forearm shots, right to the side yeah. of the face. And he's trying to whip him into that chair again. He just dumped out of the way. And like a quad dart, Leo Howland takes a nasty spill he just to the outside. Flew to the outside. There's no match. The chair fell down there to hit him on the head when it came down. I mean, just that alone should put out any normal man. Did you see that? I thought he, he, he like a javelin. Went to the outside and maybe spiked himself, but give credit to Leo Howard. 
all that adrenaline, all the, the, the toughness of Leo Howard allowed him to roll back in the ring. He might be wrestling on the instinct alone right here. Leo Howard is one of the toughest wrestlers here on the beat. Look at that, Leo Howard. Back in two times, still got some fight left in him. Look at this, this left, he just got dumped into a chair to the outside. Here we go. He's got that adrenaline coursing through his veins. Get it, girl. And nobody home. The princess moves out of the way. And the master of the ice crusher. One, two, no. Yes, yes, yes. Almost a three count. Thank you. Leo Hallett, I don't know how he kicked out of that bed, but what a, what, he, all those maneuvers he's taking from, from Jimmy Jacobs after getting dumped into that chair to the outside. I mean, this guy's one of the toughest guys in pro wrestling. Jimmy Jacobs, after that beautiful ace crush, almost able to get a pinfall. From the new face of mayhem. Look at, oh no, I don't like the way this looks. Jimmy what is Jacobs. I've seen him do some grotesque things when chairs oh. are set up like this. Could this just be another installment, another chapter of pain for Leo Howard? Well, look, Jimmy Jacobs is in pain as well. What's this? Leo, yes. pulling a page out of Jimmy Jacobs. Yeah. Oh, and he just neck breaker right across those chairs. This should Watch do it. Her. Two and three, go. that that could have been it for the zombie princess in this match. Jimmy Jacobs back just coming down on those two metal chairs, but he kicks out. What a war between two tough individuals in pro wrestling. And look, Leo Hallett, the first up to his feet. You know, he's got some devious things in his mind, Ben, and what he wants to do with those metal chairs to Jimmy Jacobs. What Leo Howard wants to mean. I, I knew this was going to be out of control when we said at the top of this broadcast, no disqualification, but come on, Ryan, someone could get seriously hurt tonight. Oh, I think that's the problem with giving any kind of match with either one of these two guys, no disqualification, because what these two will do will hurt themselves or each other or other people, whoever's involved. It's not safe. I know you're a fan of maiming, but this might be even a little to you, even against your taste just a little bit. Well, we haven't had too many matches in the NWL where we've had so many chairs and other objects in the inside of the ring. So we'll see if this happens. Look at it, they're trying to suplex him on those chairs. Come Jimmy on. Jacobs putting the brakes on that superplex, and good for him. He's about to meet a mound of chairs. Look at that. Look, he almost slips on those chairs. No, 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 Jacobs no, 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 no. Two springboard no. tornado suplex right onto that pile of chairs. No. Could this be no. it for Leo Howland? No. no. And Leo kicks out. How are either of them kicking out of this? What a war here tonight on NWL. My goodness, these men laying it all on the line in Leo Howland. I think that adrenaline burst is worn off as he rolls to the outside. I think he's had enough of a beating from the zombie princess. Leo I Hallett, can't believe I said it. Leo Hallett said he wants to make his name off Jimmy Jacobs' name. And I keep repeating that because that's exactly what's going to happen if he could somehow defeat Jimmy Jacobs. Look at this. Oh, can we, the oh, oh come the on. This is, uh, I've, now listen. Ryan, I've seen this before in the past. Jimmy Jacobs has had some legendary wars before that have spilled to the outside. And all I'm gonna say is I've seen hellacious things happen when Jimmy Jacobs and a guardrail are involved. That cold steel guardrail underneath the ring. Jacobs setting it out there, laying Leo Hallett on top. What's he plan on doing? Jimmy Jacobs famous for what? using that senton splash through tables, through chairs, through anything he can get his hands on. Oh my goodness. I couldn't we see it here tonight. A diving sent on no. through that guardrail. Yes. Oh no, Leo. Yes. Leo's back up. Thank goodness. Had enough wherewithal to get off that. What's this? Oh my gosh, he could have been thinking about a superplex through that guardrail. No, 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 no. He's fighting it off. Jimmy Jacobs. Come on. Resisting. 
Man, I've seen this before. I, I just hope it doesn't end up the last time I saw Jimmy Jacobs and another man close to the top rope. Last time, it ended with a power bomb into the crowd. Come on. Okay, he's biting him. Oh. He's biting him oh. right on the forehead. And now he's oh. through <laughs> right through that guardrail. And Leo Howlett goes crashing to the outside. He could be knocked out. Look, he just bent that steel guard. And here's, here's Maddox. Yes. There's that mammoth monster Maddox, and he's hammering. He's been associated with the Howlett's before. Well, he's yeah, definitely he's associated with Matt Jackson. And he sent him out here probably to help his boy Leo out. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Matt Jackson and the Jackson administration so has slammed into this match. And it looks like Jimmy Jacobs <laughs> is going for a ride. And he just got spiked by that monster match. Yes. Now he's primed. Now he's going to have to wake up Leo. He might be knocked out of getting thrown through that guardrail. Yeah, he's almost dead, weighing in the arms of Maddox. Maddox rolling Leo Howard. Put him on top of him. Yes, yes, get in there. Jimmy Jacobs absorbs so much punishment in this match. And, oh, not like Here we this. Go. Leo Howard rolled on top. Yeah. Two and no. No, Jimmy Jacobs is up again. And he refuses to lose here tonight. Attack the referee. Maddox, take out the referee. Big champ can't count to three. It's a no DQ match. Just take him out. Now, I mean, like you said, no disqualification. Jimmy Jacobs is going to go for another. Wait, there's Lord Terry. Why is he Lord out here? Lord Terry coming to the aid of Jimmy Jacobs. Why is he out here with Maddox? Lord Terry with a kick to the back of the head and a jumpy knee strike, and the monster still stays on his feet. Why is Thor Terrio getting the involved? He has nothing to do with this match. Thor Terrio throwing yes. because the foundation. <laughs> Thor Terrio throwing it all out there. This is trying to get Maddox off his feet. This is why friendship is good. We're all out here to help Leo. And the Jackson administration now stomping on Jimmy Jacobs and Thor oh. Terrio. And here come the besties in the world. Come on. Bessie's trying to get some revenge against the foundation. Maddox tied up with Thor Terrio in the corner. All these men going to war right now. Ace and Vega on the outside. Fitch and Shredder on the inside. But now Maddox, everyone's out of the ring now. now. Look at this, and who's left lane is Leo Howard and Jimmy Jacobs, the original participants in this matchup. Look at Thor Terrio. He refuses to, what guts on that guy. He's refusing to back down to Maddox. And look, we were where we were before. Except now Jimmy Jacobs is lying face down on the canvas. Leo still trying to grab that rope to get up to his feet. I, I don't know who's going to get to their feet first. Both these men have been through, again, another war. Look at this. Both men trying to drag themselves up to their feet, and both men have absorbed so much punishment in this match. This is a war of attrition right here. And Jimmy Jacobs strikes first with a right hand, and Leo Hallett fires back. Neither man refu just refusing to lose here tonight. I can't believe this crowd was chanting zombie princes. It'd be a cold day before I'd ever chant that. Yeah, both men. Now look at this, Jimmy Jacobs, left and right for yeah. it. Oh, Moves so out of the way, Jimmy oh. Jacobs connects with a spear. Come on, Leo. That spear almost took Leo Howlett out of his boots. Get up. Two, no, oh, yes. Three. That's Marco Howlett. Back? Marco, Marco Howlett back. came back, and he just saved this match for Leo Howlett. I think, I think Jimmy Jacobs is going to win right then if Marco wasn't out there. Proving once again that blood is thicker. Here we go. Oh, oh, blow. Would that even hurt a zombie princess? Oh, Jimmy Jacobs, look at this rock bottom. Yes. Just spiked Jimmy Jacobs into the canvas. Here we go. Referee Nick Chin in position two. Oh, come on, three. Yes. And that's it. Leo Howlett just made his name off of Jimmy Jacobs. Your winner, the new x Leo Howlett. He said he was going to make his name off Jimmy Jacobs' bed, and he did. He defeated the zombie princess tonight. He didn't need any help. He could have done it all by himself.
What an incredible main event we've seen here tonight. And I cannot believe, honestly, I would disbelieve that Leo Howlett beat Jimmy Jacobs here tonight. What a war. I mean, he did have some help, but man, both men tough as nails. What a main event. Fantastic match for both men. It was hard to say who was going to take that, even if either of them didn't have help, but Leo gets the Duke. Makes me wonder, is Jimmy Jacobs going to want some sort of retribution against Leo Howard and the Jackson administration? I guess we'll have to wait and see. What a match. Folks, we'll see you next time on NWL TV. Good night and good fight.